Today I'll be talking about HTTP load and benchmarking tests in Node.js. If you ever work with any API, you know the response time can be a bottleneck for your consumers or even affect the performance of your page load. For this test, we'll be using a package called AutoCannon. This package can simulate a high traffic in your application by creating requests based on your configuration. Let's see how it works. First, let's check how it works by running npx autocannon help. This command will show all the configuration we can use for run load tests in our page. And we can always run npm install to install autocannon globally in our project. Now we have our setup finished. Let's run autocannon. We'll be running autocannon and configured to simulate 100 connections for 30 seconds with 10 pipeline requests by passing the values 100 on dash C, 30 on dash D, and 10 on dash P. As a last parameter, we can pass website for run the test. So that when you click enter, it will be running and show the loader for the task. And when it finishes, it shows all the information for that specific task. For the next example, we will need to have Docker installed beforehand. In our case, we use Docker Desktop. Docker Desktop is a tool for Mac OS and Windows machines that facilitates the building and sharing containers, which are virtual machines with different operational systems with different applications. That means that we can simulate even a Mac OS, we can simulate our operational system like Linux, for example. For the next example, we need to clone a repo called micro frontend pages. So we go we get the link and we go to our terminal and run git clone test on the link that we copied. Inside the folder, we can run docker dash compose space up dash dash build. So we can run all the docker that we have, all the pages that we have for that repo and building their images. Now let's switch to terminal and in one of the terminals we can run docker stats so we can see all the information for that specific endpoint. For that one we'll pass docker stats pipe grep micro frontend docs page. So the command will show all the information for memory and CPU for that docker container. And the other tab we can run autocannon with the same configuration but now pointing to localhost 8888 is the port slash docs. So that will be pinging our page. As you can see, AutoCannon will show you all the information for latency, requests per second, and bytes per second. Those informations are really relevant and really important for your application if you want to work in performance or even improve those numbers. Like you can use different techniques to improve the performance of your application. For example, you can use a cache layer so you can avoid the API to be pinged all the time to respond to the same value. Also, you can use the tags. If never changed, you already have the information. You can find more details about usage, configuration, and API of AutoCannon on NPM's website.